What's happening everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your boy Ranj. Today I'm not S3 Ranj, but today I'm Q3 Ranj. Um, so a bit of an odd random video that you, you may be thinking, but I will get into it. So I'm in Alicia's Q3 right now. So she's got a Q340 TDI. It's like a 190 brake, a uh, Quattro. Uh, I've never really gone through this car, but maybe I should, because I do a lot of the work to it myself to kind of save costs and just kind of learn as well. Uh, although if there's anything that's too complex, I will kind of hand it over to somebody else, like a you know proper professional by trade. Um, but yeah, I've recently just changed Alicia's, yesterday I just changed Alicia's front disc and pads. Uh, I've gone for the Apex disc and pads. The reason why I want to make this video is because this car runs the same brake setup as my S3 8V. So 340mm disc at the front, 310mm at the rear, and the pads and everything are the exact same. So for example, I could put my DS250s on Alicia's Q3, but I haven't because she doesn't um, drive it like that, to be fair. So these brakes are absolutely fine. I have noticed that the discs are much better than the Brembo ones, but yeah, the fronts have already been fitted. I fitted the discs, I fitted the pads. In this video, I'm gonna change the rear and I thought, why not film it? Because there's no videos of anybody changing or talking about the brake setup on the Q340 TDI platform. So I think it's an F3 platform. And I thought, look, I'm gonna change the rear, show you. I'm not gonna show you the front because if you did wanna change the front on this and you needed some instructions or DIY help, you can just go watch my S3 DIY brake shim video because like I said, the brake setup is the exact same. Alicia, I hope you're having fun with my S3 right now. <laughs> but listen, like I always say, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, thank you so much. If you're new, please do subscribe, stick around. Uh, if you don't know, I'm going to stage three this year in hope to attend race wars at stage three but yeah follow me on my social media platform subscribe to my youtube channel hit that bell icon for future notification and let's just keep growing let's keep winning and i hope 2023 is an amazing year for all of us so yeah let's just get straight into it because this car is so high <laughs> one day i'm gonna have my own unit and a garage to fit all of the cars that I want in there. Promise. It's jammed on that. Annoying. Struggling to get that disc off, finally did. Managed to clean up the hub. Um, a decent amount to be fair, it was much dirtier than this. I'll put the disc on, then I'll put the pads back in, and uh, yeah, go from there. I want to kind of get this side on ASAP so I can get started on the other. This side has helped me up for ages, so. Super annoying, but oh well, that's how it goes. Pads are in. Now I'm gonna wind back the piston, then I'll attach the piston back on with the sliding pins. And then hopefully, then I'll talk up the sliding pins back up and then hopefully it should all be good to go. All done, disc on, piston, rewound back, pin in, pads in. That one at the back, like I said, and then that's a disc and then all good. <laughs> <laughs> 